That's good. I'm ready. All I right. got my pink glasses and my pink nails. So I'm ready. All right. So what's the next topic, babe? Uh, your Friday box office predictions. And yeah. So premiering today, like we said, was Barbenheimer. That's that's today. The oh good, the lower third is working again. I'm, I'm, again. I'm again. I'm talking about the vertical thing. I'm, <laughs> this is my thing on the side. Uh, so, what I feel like is going to happen this week is going to be Barbie's going to be number one. It's projected to be a, what was that? 110. 110. Uh, I think it's going to blow up. Yeah. I've already seen people. I some. I have some friends that even saw it last night that were mm-hmm. like, I. I'm in love. I can watch it a million times. My yeah, my I forgot. I've been forgetting to go full uh, screen on on. on and these and then what did, I saw a comment somewhere. I can't remember where I saw that that said, "If you love Barbie, you're gonna you love, love it. And if you hate, if Barbie, you hate you're Barbie, Barbie, I think the director you're said, gonna love it. Like it doesn't really matter your thoughts on Barbie, you'll still love it. Either the director said that or somebody uh, said it and the studio used it. Like they they loved that review so much. That was from from the earlier uh, screenings. They loved it so much. They 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 threw it in the market and they threw it on a poster. If you love Barbie, this is the movie. If you hate Barbie, this is the movie. Yeah, that that was the quote that made me go, okay, I'm gonna, I got to check this out. I don't love or hate Barbie. I'm just it's, I mean, it's I, fine. I loved Barbie when I was a kid. Yeah, I right. Tons yeah. of Barbies. <laughs> but uh, you said you're more. Yesterday you were saying that you're you're more uh, interested in looking at Trash Barbie, uh, right? You want to see what Trash Barbie's gonna. Oh, gonna I love be about. that comedy aspect. So and and I love her and I um, I love Issa Rae. So um, so and I do love the the comedy stuff I've seen from Ryan Gosling because yeah. it looks funny. The so you're, we're both in agreement that Barbie's gonna definitely be. Let me go full screen here. Barbie's gonna be number one. Uh, my prediction, obviously, obviously, Oppenheimer will be number two. Mission Impossible will fall to number three. The faith-based uh, film, based on where the numbers are at right now, so that should push to four. But Elemental's just hanging in there as the sleeper. Th- this, but this is my prediction. But that wasn't what most people are predicting. Most people were predicting that um, Indiana Jones would be there at number five that Indiana Jones would take the fifth spot. I don't believe that. I I think um, I think Elemental. I know Elemental's dip- had a slow burn. Yeah, it's just yeah. hanging on just. By a little bit, yeah. yeah. But it, but the difference from, from the projections that I've been seeing were a difference between a couple hundred thousand dollars or here, here or there. But I'm based on the movies that are out, Barbie being what it is, then that's going to be number one. And how people are kind of, because I know uh, after, and I think after that, after Indiana Jones and after uh, that, the projections was that um, the horror movie, what's that tip? Uh, Insidious was mm. going to be number six. I don't think so. I think I think in, I think um, Indiana Jones will be six, and Insidious will be uh, in seventh place. But for our top five, they projected that Indiana Jones was going to round out the top five, with. I, j- I just have a feeling that the people who weren't willing and who have kids and who don't who haven't uh, had a chance to go see it yet, who are iffy on Elemental, will take their kids or go out with the family to go give it a chance. And the the hardcore Indiana Jones people who, who were probably disappointed a little bit with it are they're probably falling off. They're not going back to go see Indiana Jones for a second time or a third time. But there's probably still some more people out there who's willing to give Elemental a chance because they haven't seen it yet. So I'm, I, I feel like Elemental will round out the top five. So that's it. That's my prediction. I think number one, Barbie. Number two, Oppenheimer. Three will be Mission Impossible. Uh, four, The Sound of Freedom. And up number five, let me know. We'll see on Monday. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll tell you on social media on Monday if I was right or wrong about that. All right. What's the uh, next situation? Your voicemails, right? Yes. All right. So... Moving on to the We Got Your Mail portion of you the show. Have. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at T3 Medias on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie reviews and episodes of The Rundown.